Good evening ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media I am Dr Nick Nickam and uh, we are going to be talking today about the World Telangana Convention all our programs or video stream through our YouTube channel Nick Nickam or Triple N Media where we have more than 1200 videos accenting our experience here in the United States we also have a facebook page which is triple uh, n media where we bring you the latest news views and opinions from around the world today we are going to be talking about the world telangana convention which is going to be happening at the george r brown convention center on june 29th 30th and july 1st 2018 and today i have two special guests who are going to be talking about uh, exhibits and booths We also have videos related to World Telangana Convention in terms of uh, topics like uh, Raithe Raju, cultural programs, eventpedia and a virtual tour of the George R Brown Convention on our YouTube channel. Please do visit those videos and get a glimpse of uh, the World Telangana Convention. My two special guests today are Virendra and Srinivas. Gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. We are delighted to have you. Let's start off with a one line introduction about yourselves and we will r- jump right into the World Telangana Convention exhibits and booths. <laughs> uh thank thanks Nick. Thank you very much for introducing us. And my name is Virendra Devireddy and uh, I'm in uh, IT industry from last 15 years. Now we are volunteering volunteering for uh, World Telangana Convention which is happening in Houston. So, you know, uh, we wanted to like, you know, give you good information related to the booths and exhibits and which is happening in uh, Atta Con- World Convention in Houston. Srini? Thank you, Nick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my name is Srinivas Kodarapu. I'm I'm the member of like in exhibits and booths. so i'm working in it from last 20 years so as virender said i am also volunteering for the exhibits and booths the world telangana convention is going to be happening at the george r brown convention center which is a landmark in downtown houston and it is a huge convention center and the world telangana convention is going to be happening on the third floor in exhibits a b and c the actual exhibits are going to be in exhibit uh, area b3 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 yeah. which is going to be on the third floor so let's talk about uh, uh, how many booths do you all plan on having um yeah nick i um, mean basically we are planning around like uh, right now we uh, sketched for the 200 and uh, we have uh, like up to 300 booths number of the booths yeah. you know number of the de- based on the demand we are going to expand our you know number of booths and exhibits in that uh, b3 b3 is a re- really big hall mm. okay what's the usual size of a booth <laughs> we are going for a like 10 by 10 size booth like 10 foot by 10 foot yeah so if the people wants like bigger size one so we are we are planning to give multiples of 10 by 10 you know see, if yeah. they want to expand for like uh, two booths if they take two booths it becomes like 10 by 20 if they take three booths it becomes 10 by 30 I so see, if you want like yeah. bigger size one the square one they can go for 20 by 20 i see yeah, so, yeah. Oh, that's fascinating ladies and gentlemen you are watching a triple n media i am dr nick nickam and we are talking about uh, the world telangana convention which is going to be happening at the george r brown convention center on june 29th to 30th and july 1st so let's talk about uh, what kind of amenities are available for the people who are going to be renting these booths you know, in terms of uh, tables chairs yeah, power wifi yeah, and <laughs> yeah basically we are planning in a very you know the best opportunity for any vendor to come in yeah. so you know, if anybody rents a booth right so they get a like you know two tables and also two chairs and uh, you know there is like no other necessity things like a desk bin and those sort of things yeah. and also the booth will be like covered on uh, the, the three sides in the mm-hmm. back to left and right yes. yeah. uh, so you know it depends upon your requirement we mm-hmm. can you know if you have in uh, two booths you know we can take out the one drape and then you know oh, we can make expand it, it, expand like, it. Like, yeah, it. Yeah, right good, yeah. and also yeah. apart from uh, these amenities we are offering uh, like internet and power if they need any internet or power yeah we are going to offer them but that is little uh, depends upon the n- size of the booth it is going to cost them but it is a, it would be very minimal pretty nominal so, pretty fee, nominal yes, fee yes. for that yeah. okay let's talk about uh, 
how, how do people register for these boots <laughs> so for registering we have a website we have to go through online like www.ataconvention.org uh, under that uh, after going to that website you can see like you know you have to look for the exhibition booth section where you can go and register for yourself and give your details so that someone from the exhibition booth will contact you and give more information while we are talking about contact uh, let's give out your contact information so that uh, if anybody is watching this video so that they can get in touch with you any one of your uh, committee members <laughs> um so yeah uh, Okay, if you go to the ATA convention, you have all the contacts, but if you wanted to reach out to us, uh, you can call me on the exhibits and, uh, uh, you know, booths, you can call me. My name is Virendra Devareddy and my number is 832-454-6633. Number again, 832-454-6633. Okay, let's and, talk. And, and my name is Srinivas Kodarapu and my contact number is 713-252-7232. Again, my name is Srinivas Kodarapu, 713-252-7232. I'm sure, you know, you're going to be getting uh, people from not only out of uh, state in the United States, but also from international uh, business people from uh, Andhra and Telangana and all these things. Uh, so let's talk about payment uh, <laughs> options and things like that. Um, uh, Nick, yeah, yeah, we have a, like a really people are when I mean, exhibit vendors are like showing a lot of interest. Uh, in exhibiting their products in mm -hmm. Houston right now and uh, we already we have almost uh, 50 to 60 booths confirmed mm -hmm. vendors yeah. and we have like a good time uh, we have a 90 more days to like you know, register yeah. and um, we have a different categories yeah. like you know jewelry category and uh, then you know the realtor and also the the rest like you know uh, so we have like a different different uh, you know for example, like if you go for the jewelry, it is like six, depends upon the size of the booth. It mm -hmm. varies from the six thousand to ten thousand dollars. I see. Yeah. And then you know, if it is the you know realtor builders, you know, it is around six thousand, and then the rest would be around two thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah. Per day. I'm part. sure you know you're going to have some non-profit uh, organizations. Absolutely, we who do are have and for the would non like to have booths. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Like, uh, we are giving a you know for non-profit organizations, we are giving for a thousand dollars. Yeah. And uh, you know, and it depends upon their requirement, yeah. we can uh, we can decide. You know, if they want the bigger size, we can offer them. So especially for non-profit organizations, we are giving like cost to cost. You know, I like, we, know. like convention like this big scale, and there's a big big uh, convention center. You know, we have, we have to pay a lot of rent and everything. So we are being a cost basis. You know, it's not like any profit. You know. That's that's very important because you know all non-profits they think okay it's going to be you know free because we are you know temple or non-profit but at the, at the end of the day yeah. everything costs you yes. know this in terms of money in terms of labor in terms of space in, so the, eventually the you know, and everything <laughs> yeah. ladies and gentlemen you are watching a triple N media I am Dr Nick Nickam and we are talking about the World Telangana Convention which is going to be happening at the George R. Brown Convention Center on June 29th to 30th and July 1st, 2018. Okay, let's talk about uh, people who are coming from out of town. They are most interested in not only the booth, but also accommodation. That's correct. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. See, if they are coming from India, we have to take care of them. That's right, yeah. yeah. Uh, we have to take care of them all the way from the airport, the airport back to the yeah. airport. <laughs> we, are, we are doing a transportation for them and yeah. also if they have any, <laughs> before they are coming in here, yeah. if they are, have any goods which they are shipping into Houston. Yeah. So we are going to give them an address where they can ship oh, and they collect the goods. Those, uh, yeah, absolutely. Those, yeah. We are going to take care of them and once they land here and then we do the transportation to the hotel uh, and also from hotel to the convention center if yeah. there is a, like, you know, if they need a transportation. Um, and also hotels are like nearby the convention. We are booking uh, um, blocked uh, hotels block rooms, rooms for yeah. the you know the visitors which we are coming. Which so they are coming should be getting the, special yeah, discount absolutely, rates. Absolutely, yes, especially absolutely. the ones who are. That's correct. In, in uh, but especially booth. for the jewelers, we are yeah. offering them a free room because they have to secure their. That's uh, right. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. That was my next question. You know, with so much jewelry that is uh, with them. 
how how, how do, do is there a, like a locker or a, like a secure place for them to store the jewelry i mean uh, on the site uh, we have a security people I where see, yeah. they can help them and uh, you know we have the security on site but if you are going into the hotel we are trying to accommodate them in the same uh, you know yeah, connected hotel hotel yeah that's uh, right for yeah. the security reasons mm-hmm. but uh, you know uh, we we escort them up to the room and then you know that means uh, they need to register early <laughs> that's correct exactly. yeah, so that they right, can get the hotel right. rooms and also Absolutely. maybe better spots and <laughs> also for the jewelers we have a limited number of jewelers we are yeah. offering because you know jewelry is the oh, too much competition we, <laughs> yeah we don't want to give a too much competitions to all the jewelers so we are do, doing a limited but like yeah we have a pretty good decent uh, you know uh, early bird registrations towards the jewelry but that's very good Diamond because you are not only thinking about you know selling the booths but you're also thinking about the people who are going to rent these booths because we want them to feel good absolutely at the they end need of the convention the absolutely that's <laughs> correct exactly so we are like you know the people will come like you know uh, like in you know, out of 100 people may if they come like jewelry they want to keep the jewelry we are not allowing them you know I we are see, yeah, that's we, right, yeah. we have a plan like you know we have to give only limited number of jewelry people limited number of real estate people and others will be like in any fancy jewelry and any other type of thing that's true but that's especially true. since they are spending yeah. more money on the booth we, we are looking their roi too they are return on investment absolutely in, yes. yeah. especially those who are coming from out of the country they return on investment absolutely yeah. Yeah. air travel and all these other expenses. yeah they need to make money too yeah absolutely ladies and gentlemen you are watching a triple n media i am dr nick nickam and we are talking about the world telangana convention which is going to be happening at the george r brown convention center on june 29th to 30th and july 1st 2018 and uh, please do subscribe to our youtube channel we also have a facebook page which is triple uh, n media where we bring you the latest news views and opinions from around the world we also have several other videos related to the world telangana convention such as cultural programs eventpedia a virtual tour of the eventpedia and of course a virtual tour of the george r brown convention center itself so please do watch those videos so we are talking about exhibits and booths my special guests are uh, virendra and uh, shrini okay let's talk about uh, loading and unloading yeah because if i am the only person coming there you know i need to get some help <laughs> yeah so before asking before answering that question the, i want to complete that earlier question oh yeah so like you asked like you know what is the deposit and everything oh yeah, yeah let's so, talk about that. exactly so inish whenever they request for the booth we we are planning to take like 50% in advance and later on like when uh, another 50% they can pay be before june 15th june so 15th. the mode of payment can be credit card wire transfer or check etc okay we'll put all the details at the end of the, this uh, video Absolutely. presentation so that you will have all the information that you need to know to send the money yeah <laughs> absolutely <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickam, my special guest, so Virender and uh, uh, Srini. Okay, let's talk about, uh, you said there will be somebody to, uh, about transporting goods from the dock to the booth area. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, we, we have a voluntary transportation facility we are providing since people are coming from all over uh, international vendors, you know, especially from India. So they don't know about the local That's area. So yes. we are, we are, uh, we are giving a like, you know, free courtesy service, uh, hospitality, like, you know, transportation service from convention to hotel and hotel to convention. And we are planning, you know, if there's any difficulty for them to come from airport to their, uh, to the city. So if they tell in advance, we can plan for the transportation yeah. too. And especially from when they come from the hotel to the convention, if they are getting their stuff and everything, there is a loading dock station. You know, they can come back up the B3 area. They can come all the way uh, and they, they, can, they can download all their stuff. Uh, and we are planning to provide a limited dollies, you know, yes, like, yes. you know, so they, they can get into the dollies, they be stuff and go into the near uh, their yeah. star location. 
Yeah, I, I have been there before, you know, when we visited, uh, when I used to go for the Janmasami. And the beauty about that is it, it's all one level. Mm-hmm. You don't yes. have to climb any stairs or Absolutely. anything like that. Yes. You know, from the yeah. docking area, you can just roll everything into the... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Area. I mean, some vendors might not have, a, like, you know, the, right. the rolling thing. So <laughs> they might have a boxes, so yeah. dollies might help them that, that's right. to pull Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you know, we have the picture of uh, the floor map of uh, the exhibit center. Maybe you can walk us through here. And, and tell us what this, uh, all these different areas mean. What, what does the blue color represent? Yeah, basically, <laughs> uh, absolutely. Thanks, Nick. I wanted to talk on that more. Yes. <laughs> See, because this is the layout uh, of the booths. Yeah. Uh, the blue area is the walkway. Basically, walk around uh, the you know exhibit hall. Uh-huh. So, wherever you see the blue marks, you see that's a walkway. Okay? That's the first thing. The second thing is, there are the two circles. Like one circle in the middle and the one circle is in the at the entrance. So the first circle is that there is the decoration. Basically, we are putting a charminar, oh, okay. which represents like more of a Hyderabad and Telangana absolutely. culture. Absolutely. So we wanted to make them feel that. like they are entering Hyderabad. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. They're right. So the <laughs> first would be like you know we are like uh, working on that. Yes. But, uh, it would be around like a uh, twenty foot height, but mm-hmm. I'm not really. Um, around 20 and yeah. 20 foot uh, height and width. And uh, there is a center, there is a Raite Raju. Yeah. We are po- doing a Raite Raju as a concept. So um, there we are going to like, you know, decorate in a way that it's like a, we are bringing out a village atmosphere That's where, yeah. uh, you know, how you see the, uh, the ra- paddy arise and, you know, other like, vegetables. Like a far, farmer's, farmer's, life. farmer's look. So Raite Raju in Telugu is it's like a more of a farmer's. Uh, farmer is the king. Farmer is the king. I think. Yes. Yeah. So that's what we are going to do that. And also the best part here is in the inner circle where you yeah. see the circle Raite Raju. Around that we are putting some you know tables and chair. I mean sorry chairs. Yeah. So chairs. that yeah. people whoever comes to the you know the shopping and the, to the event they can sit around. They can that's have good, a yeah. nice look of Raite Raju and shop around yeah. and that's buy good, stuff, yeah. you know. Yeah. In fact, I have been talking to uh, JP Mudi Reddy about right. having a, a media booth in that Raite Raju area uh-huh. where we can have all the VIPs and movie stars come and interact with, with the correct. audience. I mean, that would be a good idea. Yeah, right? it is. It's going to be a replica of the studio we have here uh, at the Raite Raju booth so that uh, I think we can, all uh, the news media can videotape and, and broadcast it yeah. all across the Google. <laughs> I think we can arrange a small booth or like, you know, yeah. backdrop so that, That's, you know, yeah. it would be helpful. The for, backdrop, you know? we already talked to them, they're going to have an LED screen. Okay. Where we'll have like a nice backdrop, oh. not uh, like a green screen we have here, but uh, yeah, yeah <laughs> sure. A different setup. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's a good idea. Planning, like, I yeah. think we didn't thought that about was, it. Yeah, I have talked to the Raite Raju okay. group, and uh, I'll be working with them Absolutely. so that we have a replica of the TV studio we have here, mm-hmm. so that all the news media can videotape uh, yeah, the events absolutely. from that's here and, and and meet the artists and. VIP yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah. Nick. So because and at the end we are putting a small stage. Yeah, I see. And uh, if there are like you know booths, right? For example, this is small, small boxes, yellow yeah. boxes. If you see around, those yeah, are the yeah, booths. Those are the booths. I and see, yeah. at the end, at the back yeah. of it, we are putting a small stage where a vendor, for example, a vendor wanted to advertise showcase, uh, his showcase product. the I product see, yeah. or a talk and <laughs> advertise. So we are providing small space where they can talk. And we are going to put yeah. some speaker, I mean, sound system there. I see, yeah. Uh, so, you know, we are trying it to help. It will be like a mela. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's more of a, yeah, it's a mela. It's a, uh, exactly. Yeah, I mean, in Telugu, we call it as a Santa. Yeah. You know, you know, <laughs> so, yeah, we are trying our level best, Nick. Yeah. So, you know, let's it, see it how is, does it. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching a triple N media. I am Dr. Nick Nickam, and we are talking about the World Telangana Convention, which is going to be happening at the George R. Brown Convention Center on June 29th to 30th and July 1st and we are focusing on the exhibits and booths section. Okay, while we are talking about the exhibits, let's move on and... uh, Okay, let's talk about when do the exhibits start and what are the hours uh, for the exhibits? (laughs) Okay, regarding the exhibits, timings like on uh, June 29th is Friday. That day is like only half a day, the uh, day timings are like 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, and on Saturday, June 30, it will be morning 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. 
and on sunday the july 1st which is 8 am to 10 pm 8 am to 10 pm yeah. okay let's give out again your contact information uh, for those uh, who might want to register <laughs> yeah my name is shrinivas kodarapu you can reach me at 713 252 again my name is shrinivas kodarapu if you are an international caller you can call 001 713 252-7232. Uh, my name is Virender David Reddy and uh, my number is 832-454-6633. Okay, you know, sometimes we think we have pre- come prepared for everything that we want. Yeah. All of a sudden, you have to look for an electronic store for some batteries or something yes, else. Yes, absolutely. So, do we have anything close to the George R. Brown Convention mm. Center? Yeah, I mean, actually, in downtown, we have a small shops in the mall. Like, it is, uh, we are giving an address to yeah. the vendors. And also, yeah. in a seven miles uh, yeah. distance, we have like a big uh, Best Buy store. I see. So, you know, we have a, like a, yeah, two electronic places where we, they can buy any uh, emergency things. Yeah, like so every time I go with my camera, all of a sudden I realize I'm out of batteries. <laughs> Absolutely. And also, Nick, I uh, just wanted to make a note of it. Yeah. Uh, here, we are putting around, uh, for the exhibits, we are coordinating with the 10, 15 people, uh, the volunteers, yeah, yes. where this, they will be there in the uh, like floor. Mm-hmm. you know if they wanted mm-hmm. vendors wanted any help you know we are going to like help them or take them to any nearest electronics yeah. or like you know uh, That's true. Like H- hospitality is yeah. is the most important thing yeah. to me everyone who comes to the convention is a vip yeah, absolutely It's not their chief minister but uh, yeah absolutely they are <laughs> like yeah important for like us That's we are hosting <laughs> and we need to you know take care of them yes okay what about uh, coffee breakfast lunch dinner and all this for those who, who are stuck in the exhibits <laughs> yeah this convention is situated out of the houston city yeah. so around <laughs> you will see like lot of food courts and everything especially within the convention campus itself we can find a starbucks coffee I and see. there's a lot of food co- food areas you know they can find a vegetarian as well as non vegetarian food areas for so culture. so do these uh, people who have booths do they have full uh, members uh, uh, registration for the entire convention absolutely yes um, yeah. uh, when a vendor registers right we give yeah. them a tickets yes to enter exit and you know we the, nobody can stop them yeah. so and also we give enough total access to the you know the convention wherever they can go and, you know dining and all dining this. and also the, yeah. the good part i <laughs> wanted to tell you uh, that for the vendors yeah. whoever is exhibiting their business we are going to supply the food to them directly oh, oh directly of, so they directly. don't have to they go stand yeah, in line oh yeah absolutely they are going to waste the time if they yeah. want if they stand in the lane so we are putting a volunteers and you know supplying the breakfast and uh, i mean especially lunch yeah, and dinner yeah. uh, at the vendor booth itself so that's you know, fascinating that be, yeah, it's, it's like flying uh, first class on a jumbo jet we yeah. wanted to give a best service <laughs> nick i mean yeah absolutely i think nick you can put a bell booth and you see our treatment <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> that's fascinating ladies and gentlemen we are talking about the world convention center world telangana convention center i'm sorry world telangana convention we are talking about the world telangana convention which is going to be happening at the george r brown convention center on june 29th to 30th and uh, July 1st and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our Facebook page. Uh, so we talked about the lunch and all these things, electronic packages and uh, do the booth people have to carry any type of insurance? Because anywhere I go, you know, like when we used to do like music concerts, we have to shell out money for uh, insurance. Yeah, that's a very good question, Nick. <laughs> uh for regarding the store we, we regarding the convention and everything we take care of the liability insurance and everything but if they have if they want to take additional what they want for to take other, yeah for the jewelry like people the, yeah. and all mm-hmm. is always welcome to take their own insurance you know see, generally yeah. we have very good security around the booth area and we have li- liability insurance and everything any final thoughts gentlemen um uh Okay, I wanted to talk on a couple of things mainly, yeah. um, Nick. Um, on the layout part, right? So, yeah. everybody, whoever comes into the convention will pass through each and every booth. Mm-hmm. That's what we are trying to design a, yeah. a layout and, you know, design the booths. For example, 
if he, if anybody comes as a, like a visitor right he cannot he cannot avoid passing through the i see uh, vendor booth so everybody has so, to so pass so it's sort of sandwich between the, the 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 event uh, room and the dining right. room that's things. correct so they so have to go through absolutely <laughs> if they want to eat <laughs> go through the when uh, exhibit, exhibit area and right. if they wanted to go to any program or anything into the main hall they I have see. to pass through the Uh, you know vendor booth that's what we are like planning and uh, you know um, we designed that layout in in such I, a I, way I like, like the this. layout it, it it's very nice and it it's sort of everything is on the same level and everything is connected right. so you don't have to climb stairs or escalator and stand <laughs> in long lines and also it's a big, big hall uh, <laughs> yes, i think yeah. almost 100000 square footage yeah. hall and uh, in that uh, we are just like using a part of it <laughs> but like we are making sure that like you know occupied all the booths are spread out Absolutely, and yeah. then you know everybody people can walk around and they do this their, their shopping in the, in the That's convention thing yeah. ladies and gentlemen we have been talking about the world uh, telangana convention which is going to be happening on june 29th to 30th and july 1st at the george r brown convention Gentlemen it's been a pleasure talking to you and uh, I'm looking forward to all the exhibits and especially our media booth uh, yeah. <laughs> at the right here right here Absolutely uh, Nick, uh, I think we should do that yeah, yeah. absolutely and uh, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch other videos uh, related to the world Telangana convention such as the right here Raju event to pedia cultural programs sports spectacular and uh, virtual tour of the George R Brown Convention Center itself we will see you next time thank you so much for your time thank you thank, thank you very much thank you nick thank you very much yeah.